okay so hello friends today our topic is the streptococcus so this is the gram positive cocci first one is staphylococcus and next one is streptococcus okay so if we do the gram staining then uh, we will see under microscope so here you can see a chain like st structure is formed okay so here it is the answer will be chain like structure violet in color okay now come to the classification so that is this is the very important thing for the streptococcus so they are classified into aerobes facultative and and facultative anaerobes and obligate anaerobes obligate anaerobes pepto streptococci and facul aerobes facultative anaerobes are further classified by by hemolysis okay so alpha hemolysis beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis alpha hemolysis streptococcus humuni and streptococcus viridans gamma hemolysis is enterococcus beta hemolysis is classified from a to v except i and j at this classification is called dance field grouping okay and a is further classified by 100 sizing 100 serotypes and this classification is griffith typing okay now group a streptococcus according to a to b a is streptococcus pyogenes okay uh, b is streptococcus agalacti and c is enterococcus physis now group a versus group b that is the streptococcus pyogenes versus streptococcus agalacti so see so first is uh, basic tracing sensitive sense testing so group a is uh, sensitive and group b is resistant camp group a is negative group b is positive hht is group a negative and group b positive now virulence factors so here also picture is drawn you can see the plasma membrane peptidoglycan layer and the capsule so first one is a take uh, thick peptidoglycan layer you can see next one is the lpas sorry lipotechoic acid lipotechoic will present like this so this is the lipotechoic acid these are the next is m protein m protein so first you have to know these are the fimbria okay these are the fimbria and in fimbria there are present of the m proteins m proteins and this structure is called fimbria now group specific carbohydrate antigen this is present between the peptidoglycan layer and the plasma membrane so here are the structures so this is the group a specific group a space group specific carbohydrate antigen group specific carbohydrate antigen okay uh, next one is the capsule so here you can see the capsule and the a factor which helps it addition now come to the toxin so streptococcal pi so first one is the streptococcal pyogenic and exotoxin so SPE, there are three SPA, SPB, SPC. SPA is coded by the bacteriophage, and this is coded, SPB is coded by chromosomally mediated, and SPC also bacteriophage coded. So these two are super antigen. So super antigen causes extreme release of leuk interleukins okay now dick test you have to remember a thing so sp was previously called as erythrocytic or scarlet fever toxin because it interdermal injection in susceptible children produces local erythema now enzyme so first one is the streptokinase very very important okay so mechanism let's see the mechanism so first here you can see plasminogen streptokinase plasminogen to plasmin so streptokinase activate this step now plasmin so let's take this is a blood vessel and here there is a injury so platelet will get stay settle there platelets and what happened fibrin a net is formed so okay so net is formed so they cannot able to escape out rbc's platelets okay so this fibrin now plasmin will cause breaks down of breaks down fibrin barrier barrier 
add out infection infected site which cause spread of infection okay so this will uh, the plasmid will act on this 5b net or the network and as a result everything will spread okay therapeutic use if not any infection is there then it is beneficial sometime so we will uh, fibrolytic agent use myocardial infarction myocardial infarction and next is step to dornis so they breaks down breaks down the dna okay therapeutic use is liquefy the thick exudates in empyema cases next is other enzymes which are toxins so other enzymes are first one hyaluronidase so hyaluronidase breaks the hyaluronic acid spreads of the infection infection will get spread next is nads so act on coenzyme nad next spy cp it is a serine protease which inactivates the interleukin 8 remember interleukin 8 is a neutrophil chemo attractor so what will happen in the infected site neutrophil comes as soon as possible so they will not able to come there okay not able to come there next is c5a peptidase it is a serine protease it cleaves the c5a complement and it is also a neutrophil chemo attractor so in the infected site here it is neutrophils so they will not able to come there okay next is clinical manifestation so respiratory first one is the pharyngitis so here you can see it is it so it is inflammation okay so inflammation so presence of exudative fluid and swelling of throat okay next is scarlet fever it is uh, by the spa b and c rashes due to hypersensitive reaction to toxins and strawberry tongue these two are clinical symptoms and this is the pathogenesis next is uh, next pathogenesis uh, next clinical manifestation is skin and soft tissue infection so it is you can impetigo and erysipelal next is deep soft tissue infection so necrotizing fasciitis bacteremia and toxic shock syndrome okay so toxic shock syndrome previously we discussed that it is also produced by the staphylococcus which is the main organism next is lab diagnosis so first we will collect the throat swab and the saliva sorry sp and sputum also sputum saliva sputum okay next is transport media uh, it is by pikes medium medium culture blood agar beta hemolysis will be seen selective media our example selective media will be crystal violet blood agar and pnf media liquid liquid selective media will granular turbidity showing the granular turbidity or and plus powdery with pyrrole deposit biochemical test catalyst negative basic test sensitive and pir positive okay so this is the streptococcus so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please also to subscribe my channel